My name is Catherine Griffin. I'm assistant manager here at Dogs Trust. Oh, I'm Donald. I'm a canine carer here. My name is John, and I'm a canine carer at Dogs Trust. My job to look after a lot of the customer service side of things, um, front of house, um, working with the public and the adopters, and trying to find homes for the dogs. Basically, we just take care of dogs day to day, same as you're going to do for your dogs at home, but obviously on a much bigger scale. 99% of the dogs in our care are from the pound system. So these are the guys who are at greatest risk of euthanasia. So we don't have an open door policy of someone coming in saying, I don't want this dog or I found this dog when we take it in. That's the job of the pounds. Dog of the week is a kennel that we have in reception, a large sort of glass box, for want of a better word. Um, it's an area to really highlight and showcase a particular dog. So we have 24 kennels on our rehoming corridor, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, and we have kennels at the back of the house as well. And some of the dogs there will be suitable for the rehoming corridor because they get really quite upset seeing people. But some of these dogs are kenneled with dogs who are completely bomb proof, but they're not getting seen as much. So it's just a way to highlight um, certain dogs and really showcase how wonderful they are. I like Bella because she's a big pit bull. And as a breed, they don't get the best reputation, but seeing a girl like her in Dog of the Week, again, it helps spread education and awareness that these dogs are what we make them, and she's an old pudding that just wants to be smushed and cuddled by everyone. So it just, again, helps highlight that and gives her a good chance of finding her forever home as a result. The most challenging part is when dogs come into the centre. The potential neglect that they will have suffered um, is really, really difficult. His name is Prince, he's a German Shepherd, and when he came in, he, um, he just had so many things wrong with him. He, he had a, a hernia in his, in his scrotum, he had a hernia in his, his rectum, and basically what was happening is he, just, he was trying to go to the toilet and it wasn't coming out, it was just staying in his body. His ears are completely damaged, really thick to feel. His tail was very um, infected near the base of it, and under his belly as well. For the first few days, it was just it was very hard to look at because you could see he was just really, really trying to go to the toilet, but it was just it was so painful for him. Thankfully, he was given the right treatment, so the, the vets had a look at him. They decided to give him some laxatives, so that would help him help him go to the toilet. Um, he was getting loads of different meds to help him with his different uh, hernias and infections and things like that. And uh, after a good few weeks, you could see him starting to come around. Yeah. The different uh, injuries seem to start to kind of wear down. Like if you look at him now, to compare what he, what he was when he came in, he's, he, he he barely unrecognisable. He just he just looked so downtrodden, and like it was, it was hard to look at him at, at parts because he just it just didn't look right. And um, but now like you look at him and he's just he just looks like a big kind of shaved pup. He's really really funny to look at. Of all that goes into cruelty and neglect and abuse. We really focus on the positivity that they can come full circle and they can be loving, adoring pets in a home. It's a very bittersweet job. You get so attached to the dogs here. I mean, we have about 200 dogs on site and we know them all by name. We know where they've all come from. We know them all as individuals. Falling in love with them and sending them off home is always a day where people be bored and their eyes are crying. Um, but it's great, we never want to see them again. I think the most rewarding thing is probably you kind of build a bond with them. The dog comes in and you kind of build a bond and um, sometimes you know feed that dog's out from the else and they see and they get it and that's a great reaction they give you. Um, you build it up and when you see them get home then um, it's great. Um, it's, it's great seeing a lot of dogs get home but when you build that kind of special bond or if the dog has been, the dog has been here for a long time it's great to see them get, get home. Only this year actually I haven't looked at the dog that 
was, it was great with a lot of the guys that worked there. We never thought we were going to get home, but we did. And it was, you know, it was a great day when, when that happened.